as the Razorbacks of Arkansas welcome in the Purple Aces of Evansville. As Evansville has scored the first five, but it's number five for Arkansas, Antlon Bell. Who to get tighter on defense. I think that's why you see him going to zone right away, and there you see Wing again, the former great football that's solid build a wall. You have the height advantage. Be solid defensively. And a nice job for Zuya. Transfer from Villanova, wearing number 10, who checked in for Evansville. And he commits the foul. And they're going to count the basket. Better double team, quick and aggressive. And now the second time we see Wing get wide open on the out-of-bounds play. Razorbacks answer. That's a two-point jumper for Jabril Durham. And a steal on the inbound. That's what Durham can do for you. Not a great three-point shooter, but he knows his limitations. He gets the Muskevichus with six points and four rebounds in the early going. As Willie Kawasi begins to make his presence felt. David Howard, 6'8", redshirt junior into the Evansville lineup. And there you see Arkansas, Kennesaw State. Hey, there's Mr. Ballantyne. Well, he saw Kawasi come out. Hannah's from deep. Hello. That. Oh, how about that finish? They like that high pick and roll, especially with Ballantyne. Inside, nice interior passing. Miles got it to Kawasi. Witt with that fade away, and he got it to go over Ballantyne. There's that wingspan getting that. And one thing Arkansas has done consistently this year is hit the offensive glass. Here he is again. A great three by Hannes, but an even better pass. For sure. Guy. Especially Arkansas team that talks about we don't have a lot of depth. Yeah. How's 23 nothing? How Make it 25. Hannes. <laughs> a large part of Hannes is coming off the bench. McCavitchus is tired. He played 40 minutes last game against Murray State. He's got the condition to do it. I'm not sure they played him 40 minutes at this same pace, though. Razorbacks come from eight down, and they lead by a dozen at the break. Now let's send it to our of the second half. And a pretty reverse by Antoine Bell. Forwards in the first 20 minutes. Had a couple of blocks, but that time he had to give ground as Kingsley is just working harder to get position, I believe, Dane. Well, I think Muscovich is hes hesitant. He can't afford to get into foul trouble. So if I'm Arkansas, I got to keep attacking down low because Muscovich can't play as aggressive. Bell from deep. That's pretty. What a quick trigger on Bell. He's a but he's got to worry about tonight. And Evansville and Coach Simmons, they have got to find a way to draw up some plays for Ballantyne, get him going offensively. What six. And Kingsley knocked it down with one on the clock. And the Hogs in a hurry. And when they can split a defense and give Dusty Hannes a look like Valentine stayed with it. But he is all out of sorts. And Howard had it knocked back at him. Bring another one up for where he kind of felt like they could have put some teams away and didn't. And if you don't, that's what happens. So I'll maybe and go a little zone off the inbounds. Nice play. Wing with a ball fake. And then dropped it into Miskevichus. Second time Adam Wing has gotten the Arkansas team up in the air with his pump fake in the paint. Pretty play by Durham. And then he tries to get the steal. And Muscovichus may have gotten away with a little push himself. Bell got another one. Don't blink. Here's Brown for a triple. Single digits. Especially the way the Razorbacks are shooting from the outside. That's Jabril Durham. Kingsley from outside. Got 
on the shot clock under 10 and there's Bell. My goodness has he been good. When you're so concerned about the three. Witt got the block. And Bell got the big time jumper. That might be the dagger. How about the freshman, Jimmy? And a good win for the Razorbacks tonight, Dane. A new collection of Razorbacks here, still trying to find themselves their identity. I think the Razorbacks took a step.